Welcome back to Malacca Motorsports. I'm Stav, and today is part two of Keeping Up with the Malacca's Wiring Edition. I want to start off by the video by saying thank you to everybody who's commented on our last couple of videos, giving us a lot of support, lot, I mean, all positive comments, and then everyone who's DM'd us and given us a lot of support in that way. It really means a lot to us because, first off, a lot of the, uh, the comp, uh, comments are also really constructive. Uh, giving us great advice so how we can f uh, go in the future they're telling us maybe not what I'm exactly what I'm doing wrong but what I could be doing better so thank you guys we really appreciate the feedback because a lot of you guys that do watch our videos end up sending us your Instagram uh, links and you guys are have your own businesses where you make beautiful harnesses yourself so that's really cool thank you guys again I really appreciate it now let's get started with the video um, as you guys remember in part one we were a little undecided about where we we're gonna mount the ECUs We've now mounted the ECUs and I can't wait to show you guys. And I, and I, and in the comments below, please tell us what you think. I really love the feedback. Tell us what you think about what the previous setup was and the engine bay all flopping around or where we put it now and I think it's pretty darn cool. Um, and it, it didn't take very much time. Uh, I wanna show you guys some of the gremlins we've been dealing with, some of the things we found while uncovering the ECU and wiring harnesses, some previous shops work. I'm not gonna mention any names, trash. Um, uh, but yeah, so let's get started and then today we're also going to be extending the body harness from the engine bay six feet into the end into the glove box and uh, We have a lot of work to do a lot of soldering a lot of heat shrinking to do. Let's get started I am a lack of so what you see is the inside of the glove box here as you see uh, I ended up removing the glove box and you know one of the places that we were talking about putting the S7 ECU is inside the glove box along with the adapter and yes both of them could fit and I'll show you guys where we mounted it another spot we talked about is possibly high up on the footwell there because it is like about 80% covered by the under part of the dash but it still left a portion of the ECU uncovered which you know didn't I didn't feel comfortable putting it there because if potentially you take a you know a someone with you for a joy ride and you know their you know their feet kick up because the car you know pushes them back they'll touch that ECU potentially shut off the car maybe rip a wire and then you know we'll be stuck on the side of the road so you know the whole thing is we could have mounted it anywhere this is not just a race car this is still a street car and you know we'll and still and still in full street uh trim with that kirky seat but uh wanted to make sure that we put it wherever it's nice uh user friendly and easy to access so let me show you guys where we did put it show you guys the back side of the ecu uh of the glove box and how we mounted it so here's the adapter box that's underneath uh i have a bracket that's not attached right now which makes this very rigid not not flopping around like it is now even though the plastic is very strong i still made a bracket for this so that it doesn't move and flop around especially when we're going to put the harness and the harness will be weighing it down there might be a little bit of extra play but that's all completely eliminated i uh, got to paint that bracket black um then we put the s7 ecu in the glove box and what's great about these two locations being the way uh this far apart is that we're able to still reuse the adapter plug and play harness that we had before that was in the ecu because they were a few inches apart it's exactly the same distance so no repinning no reconfiguring configuration needed but uh you know it makes it very clean another thing that we talked about uh one uh, i'll show you guys this will be the uh the the coupler that is used to access the ECU through, via Ethernet. The Cyvex ECU uses Ethernet. Some ECUs use uh, USB, mini USB. A lot of different ways to get the same result. But uh, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to mount the ECU in the car and show you guys how it looks. And you tell me your opinion if this is cleaner than being in the engine bay. But yeah, mounted this adapter uh, part here. We mounted the ECU in the glove box. And what's also great is when the ECU is still in the glove box, I'll show you, we still have access to the full glove box. Uh, very little part of the ECU uh, is used up. And I can still get my hands in here and pull the connectors out if need be to test things without actually pulling the glove box. So in my opinion, this is the best spot to mount it because it's easy, clean, and uh, let me mount the let me mount the glove box and show you guys. The glove box back in, the bolts are not in, that's why you see a little bit more of a gap, but uh, I'm just trying to show you guys real quick. Here is the S7 ECU underneath the CD player from the factory. Funny story is, George didn't even know he had a factory CD player. When I called him and told him I had to remove it, he goes, I don't have a CD player in this car. Little do you know it was hidden in the glove box. Uh, but, you know, again, 
didn't take up too much space still has about 80 percent of the glove box that you can still um access put stuff in here you know not and fully use uh another feature that we put is we ended up putting this little um coupler here so we're able to access these uh this scal and log into the ecu we end up putting an ethernet cable here um boom and it still can close the door fully locks no problem so you know it'd be a nice little clean install i think it came out pretty good what do you guys think again all the wires are connected right now i actually have them connected and you don't see any wires hanging anything loose i think it's a very simple install but clean and effective and probably should the way it should have been because i think the way that they routed originally they routed it through the fender through the door jam underneath the carpet and basically george just had it sitting here like in his footwell the wiring i think this way we'll be able to close the door put the wire back in and you won't even know that there's a ecu sitting here there's no you can't see the ecu from here you can't you know and then you don't see any wiring so it's going to free up a lot of space um you know and, ma and make a lot of room for us in, in the engine bay and also be away from heat so this will be a nice little clean feature tell me what you, tell me what you guys think in the comments below interested in hearing what you guys think versus do you like it better in the glove box or do you like it in the uh, engine bay so next step would be to extend that harness run it through the um the underneath the dash and to the spot over here extending it about 72 inches six feet and uh, we have a lot of soldering a lot of cutting to do and we need to get started because uh, I don't have all day. Made a lot of progress as you guys saw in the time lapse. We got this whole harness done. It's, you know, again, it's not heat shrunk yet. It's not, you know, it doesn't have the harness tape on it, but it's clean. It's it's organized. Uh, we, you know, we ran it through the body, uh, over over the car, and as you guys saw, we basically ran the wire over here and then resoldered uh, soldered the wire. So you know, it was it's a little tedious. Uh, definitely took longer than it should have about six seven hours to get that done but hey you know i mean you know, there's so many of the same color wires in this harness uh, the last thing i want to do was mix up a red wire or blue wire and then you know chase our tail for a couple days so it's easier to take a little longer now get it done right i end up ohm checking from uh the points of the connection over the body harness everything seems to be making uh connection so i'm really happy about that uh, but of course, when we start it up, we'll check everything. But see, you know, uh, seem to take our time is the best way. Um, shout out to our, our friend Roman, who has the shop Art of Assembly, and his Instagram is right here. About a couple days ago, he hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, I forget which one, and basically, uh, internet bullied me into getting a new soldering gun. Uh, I posted a picture on the table with this Harbor Freight one, and he says, Hey man, that thing works terrible. Um, you know, you guys need to invest in a nice soldering gun so we en ended up uh, getting a new one george bought this and uh, just happened to be after three hours of soldering today this gun decided to stop working and smoking and like you know like lifted a head like like a dazzle or something you know so uh uh that you know this definitely works pretty nice it's it has different temperature adjustments i can say this for the last three hours soldering with this has been amazing as you see it increases temperature really fast it'll go up you know it takes about 15 20 seconds really great unit thank you for, su for the suggestion uh, it's about 120 bucks on amazon prime you guys notice we buy a lot of stuff on amazon prime because it comes pretty quickly uh uh, some people have asked us what kind of heat shrink we we use. This is just generic heat shrink. I think it's like a 500 piece assortment for $13. But I can tell you this, um, oh, because this is the same exact stuff I used on George's harness. Make sure you buy the one that has the adhesive line. It, it specifically says it because once you heat shrink this and it has the adhesive, it ends up creating a way nicer bond and like it it, it held up nice to the temperature of the engine bay. Where the ones that didn't have adhesive did not hold up and they just cracked and basically four months later didn't work where these held up really really nice uh and really seals it up pretty nicely so uh let's go on and show you guys the engine bay uh not the engine bay the inside the cab and the and the body harness so uh let me open this piece of crap up all right as you guys see this jump rope wire here um we made this uh we extended it 71 inches for some of you guys who are like, hey, that looks pretty long because, you know, we still have to run it to the other side. Not a big deal. Uh, we made this harness essentially longer than it has to be because because we mounted everything in the glove box. Uh, we didn't want to make it exact specific fit. We wanted to make it longer so that we could pull the glove box, essentially put the, you know, ECU on the uh, passenger seat and still run the car and, you know, troubleshoot anything we need to troubleshoot. So... 
again you know we made it a little longer than we have to we're going to heat shrink this but i think it came out pretty nice uh you know added 71 inches to the whole harness and ohm check from here to the point before our solder and everything seems to be getting very good connection so you know but of course the test of time will be once we start it uh but this is one of the bigger tasks and it saves a lot of room in the engine bay um you know let us know what you guys think uh, again you know the, the uh installation we did for the ecu seems to be very clean but it removes a lot of space here frees up um you know that it's not in the uh, way of heat because again when the s7 ecu is here it's essentially 14 inches away from the uh tubular manifold that gets up to about 1300 degrees on wide open throttle so you know we're just trying to uh save space do a cleaner engine bay uh we're going to be changing you know george will be changing a lot of stuff up uh, but you know we need a, as much room as we we can for a nice big catch can maybe we, you know or nitrous solenoid so i think it really frees up a lot of space thank you guys so much for watching that pretty much wraps up today's video i spent uh, it's about 3 30 in the morning right now i've been at it since about 11 a.m uh mounting the ecu that you know coming up with the idea of where to mount it took a lot longer uh than i expected because you know you want to put the right position you know because everything has to be not just the thought of hey let's put it here and then we'll figure it out later everything will be tailored to the where that ecu is mounted so i wanted to make sure it's the perfect location i think it came out pretty great uh tell me what you guys think um really happy with uh the result the body harness took longer than i expected also but you know i'm glad we got it done and uh you know, um, definitely uh, say, frees up a lot of room in the engine bay. Thank you guys so much for watching. In our next video, we start the engine harness. And that's what we'll start talking about. Five volt sensors and how we're going to run it. Uh, and I have a couple things I wanted to show you guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Stav. George is not in this video, so you better hit like. And on to the next video.